Hello, um, I just thought some of you might know that I love my birds. I love watching them in my garden. I always make sure the bird feeders are full with seeds and things like that. The kinds of birds that I like to look at in my garden that come and visit my garden, we have lots and lots of blue tits. We have lots of starlings, which are really shimmery and beautiful. We have some little long tail tips as well, which are really quite cute. Uh, we have blackbirds. I have one little magpie that keeps coming and having a little feed at the seed on the grass. And lots of other birds, lots of sparrows, tree sparrows and house sparrows. I love my walking. I love going to see the birds down by the river, the kingfishers, the sand martins, the swallows the house martins. I wonder if you can have a little look at some birds when you're going on for a lovely walk, out for a lovely walk this week and then let me know or draw some of the birds and show me because it would be really really nice to see those. Last night and the night before we were looking out of my bedroom window, this is my bedroom, and we saw a barn owl flying really low over the meadow and over the grass trying to spot some little mice probably to take back to its nest for its babies and I thought it's so beautiful to see it's beautiful light brown colour and it glides over the grass so maybe you can see if you can spot some owls if you're out kind of evening time when it's just getting a little tiny bit darker so outside my house we see barn owls, we see tawny owls and we hear them when we've got the windows open. I live in Grassington in the countryside so I see lots of nice wildlife. So I thought because of my love of birds I thought I would read Owl Babies to you. Owl Babies story. Now this is a pop-up book so you might be able to see some of the things pop up. Shall we have a go? Okay. Not a lot happens in this story, but it's still very beautiful and the pictures are really, really nice. Okay. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah, Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. There they are. In their hole. With their mummy looking after them. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mummy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. Bill's the baby one, you see. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah, to get us some food, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. Did you see their heads moving, watch. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. I think they might be a little bit worried. And very hungry, probably. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old bit of a tw ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. Mm -hmm. It was dark in the wood. And they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. 
I suppose so, said Bill. You know what little... Uh, sorry, said Percy. You know what little Bill's going to say. I want my mummy, said Bill. They sat and they thought. All owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did. All three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. You know what Bill says. I want my mummy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. Does she come back? Do you remember this story? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this watch. <whistles> doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, look at that. And she came. Soft and silent. She swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy. They cried and they flapped their and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. What is the fuss? Their mother owl asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mummy, said Bill. And that is the end of the story. I want you to go on a little walk just before evening time, near some fields or on the moors. See if you can spot any wildlife. Can you spot any owls? Can you spot any starlings or any nesting birds on the moor side. My favourite are the owls and I love the colour of the starlings, their wings are quite sparkly. And I love the swallows, but the first sight of a swallow coming to Grassington and nesting around my house is really, really exciting. They have a red chest and they have a long, long tail, a black tail. They're very, very beautiful. And the noise that the swift birds make, a real screech. So maybe mummies and daddies can help you see if you can identify and spot any different birds around your homes. OK, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, says Bill.